We are in beautiful Valparaiso. We bought this property in 2010. I would drive by it when it was for sale and stop here and just sit here and it brought peace and serenity. And then the realtor called us and said, hey, you were looking at this farmhouse. Are you interested because it's gonna go back to the bank and they're going to demolish it and take it back down to farm property because it's been for sale for eight years and nobody wants it. While we were fixing it up, I think our initial thought was just to save the property. And then I started thinking, wouldn't it be a cool place for other people to come and relax? So I thought about maybe selling wine here started fixing the property up, started looking into how to start a winery. I was extremely naive on how difficult that actually would be, but I kept plugging ahead. Once we bought it, I was full in, and I wanted to support her and her venture. So we worked together on this. From the very beginning, we wanted it to everybody to feel like they were on vacation when they got here. Uh, so we worked diligently uh, for years uh, since 2010, rehabbed the, the house. It was in pretty bad shape. It looks really pretty now. And when we started, we had made wine, and uh, then it was kind of a shock to, to go from making small batches of wine to bringing grapes in and, and uh, crushing them. And At home, I would make homemade wine and say, honey, let's try to make some homemade beer. So we would do that at home. Um, and then I got the Brainiac idea. How hard would it be do, to do commercially? <laughs> I was very naive. So we got the idea that we would start making it commercially. We worked a lot with Purdue, their agricultural department, um, and they helped us tremendously. Other wineries helped us tremendously, giving us advice. You have to be so diligent with checking the wine on a regular basis and, and making sure that uh, you're protecting the wine at all times. So there's a lot that goes into filtration. We've had some battles with the wine itself, making sure that we put out the best product that we can. All in all, uh, we put a really good product out. Uh, everybody uh, loves our wine and um, we just keep moving forward. Yeah, we get a lot of compliments on our wine and people will come here and say, you guys make really good wine. And then I tell them, yeah, sometimes we've made really bad wine too. <laughs> but that doesn't get sold. <laughs> Before we even opened the winery, a young gal stopped by here and asked if she could get married here. And I told her no. <laughs> I said, I don't do weddings. Where would you get married here? And she said, the old Quonset hut. And I said, um, have you seen it? She said, yeah, I come here when you're not here. And it's, this is a beautiful property and I love this property. I want to get married here. And I thought, huh, she did the same thing I did. So I allowed her to have her wedding. A few weeks later, a neighbor stopped by and said, hey, did you have a wedding there? I said, yeah. She said, can I have my wedding there too? And then from that point, all kinds of people started talking to me and asking if they could get married here. And the vibe that I wanted for it was, we want a family vibe with uh, friends and kids and everybody helping out. So when they come here, I show them the property, I show them how beautiful it is, and then I tell them I will help them. You know, and I help them through the process and I give them ideas. So it's a very smooth process for them. We're family friendly, we're dog friendly. I want this to be a winery that everybody can enjoy. You know, I love talking to people and we have uh, musicians come every Saturday and Sunday. So I'm up there belting it out along with them. I just enjoy people and meeting people. And we make sure that when they're here, uh, they make themselves at home. But everything here really uh, comes out of her mind. Uh, she is relentless. In uh, the middle of the night, she'll be dreaming up these uh, new ideas, and then she'll say, hey, Mike, guess what you got to do tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> when I decided to leave my other job, I thought, I want to bring that same peace and serenity to other people, because I know everybody in their workplace is stressed out, and everybody needs a place to relax. I also like the farm aspect, because you know people come here, and, and who gets to sit on a farm anymore? And this farm um, was started in 1870, so it has been here continuously as it is, except improved, so 150 years. Interestingly enough, the, uh, the original home was titled under a woman, a German woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, which was unheard of at that point in time, so I just think it's cool that it's become full circle. It's back to, you know, a woman running it, with the help of her man. Yeah. <laughs>